The third unfinished initiative is to take 10% of what is given so that it might go outside our walls to the city of Chicago and around the world. Years ago, the, the way that you knew a church was really committed to missions and to global outreach was uh, by the number of people that they supported overseas, the number of missionaries they had. Park has, has a different model, um, and it is about really deeply investing in, in a number of people, um, not just sending money and not just praying for them, but saying, this is not just your ministry that you're doing over there, this is our ministry. So we actually both left our jobs and went to Moody Bible Institute for a year to do a one-year training in preparation for going overseas. So at that time, there were 60 people in the program, and only two people were interested in China. And you can guess who those two yeah. were. It really is customized around what are the, what, what are the uh, ministries that the global partners are involved in, and, and what are the needs that they have. This seed, planting seed, that principle, it, it's not just about planting churches. It's in the workplace. The gentleman who saw 800 people come to faith in his company, we planted the seed of the gospel, taught him how to read the word and learn from it and how to listen to Jesus. And he just ran with it because he was so full of Jesus and he was so transformed that he wanted other people to know about it. It was good news. We're doing some business training for those who are in under-resourced communities, neighborhoods. Then we're doing other kinds of outreach. So we do medical outreach with, uh, in a number of locations. The situation in Syria, it, it really is, many are saying now that it's the greatest humanitarian crisis since World War II. Uh, we're asking the question here at Park, what is our part in that? What's our role? Uh, we're hoping to be able to host about 50 uh, Syrian refugee families uh, in the next year here at Park. We're, we're also actually looking at taking some short-term teams over to both Istanbul and, and possibly over into Eastern Turkey that would work with the refugees who are just now fleeing. China knows what we're doing. We're, we call it hiding out in the open. At one point in the coffee, the, the gentleman actually said, we like the way you guys do ministry because you actually let the local people lead and encourage them. And they watch us so carefully, they actually see that. There is tons of stuff that needs to happen here in Chicago to renew the city. And I, I always say too, that Matthew um, 28, Jesus didn't say go into Jerusalem and, or Judea or Samaria or the ends of the earth. He said and, it was always and. Go to Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and the ends of the earth. So I think our call as Christians and as a church is that, that we're not just about seeing the city renewed, but it's also about impacting the world.